My beloved brethren and sisters, I invite you to join in a prayer that while I speak, you and I may both enjoy the Spirit. I will give you a lesson today which the Lord has taken great pains to bring to us. He declared, There shall none come to this land, he was speaking of America, save they shall be brought by the hand of God. This land is consecrated unto him whom he shall bring, and if it so be they shall serve that they shall serve him according to the commandments which he hath given, it shall be a land of liberty unto them. It's my purpose in making these remarks to point out from the record of ancient inhabitants of America that the foregoing decree have been carried out. In the western part of the state of New York near Palmyra is a prominent hill known as Hill Camorra. On July the 25th of this year, as I stood on the crest of that hill, admiring the awe-inspiring and breathtaking panorama which stretched out before me on every hand, my mind reverted to the events which occurred in that vicinity some 25 centuries ago, events which brought to an end the great Jaredite nation. You who are acquainted with the Book of Mormon will recall that during the final campaign of the fratricidal war between the armies led by Shiz and those led by Coriandomer, nearly two millions of Coriandomer's people had been slain by the sword. As the conflict intensified, all the people who had not been slain, men with their wives and their children, gathered about that hill, Camorra. Thus perished at the foot of Camorra the remnant of the once mighty Jaredite nation, of whom the Lord had said, There shall be none greater among all the f upon all the face of the earth. As I contemplated this tragic scene from the crest of Camorra and viewed the beautiful land of the Restoration as it appears today, I cried in my soul, How could it have happened? Pursuant to this decree concerning the land of America, the Jaredites were swept off in the manner we reviewed because, rebelling against the laws of Jesus Christ, the God of the land, they ripened in iniquity. Nor were they the only people who were anciently divinely led to this choice land to grow in righteousness, to be a mighty nation, and then to deteriorate in wickedness until they ripened in iniquity and were pursuant to God's decree swept off. This second civilization of which I refer, the Nephites, flourished in America between 600 B.C. and 400 A.D. Their civilization came to an end for the same reason, at the same place, and in the same manner as did the Jaredites. From the account of their death struggle, I quote, And now, says Mormon, their historian, I finish my record concerning the destruction of my people, the Nephites, and it came to pass that we did march forth before the Lamanite nights to the land of Camorra. This information, this information that I've told you, wrote Moroni, addressing himself to us who today occupy this land, cometh unto you, O you Gentiles. Now, Gentiles is the term used by the Book of Mormon prophets to refer to the present inhabitants of America and to the peoples of the old world from which they came. This cometh unto you, O ye Gentiles, that ye may know the decrees of God, that ye may repent and not continue in your iniquities until the fullness come, that ye may not bring down the fullness of the wrath of God upon you as the inhabitants of the earth have hitherto done. Now, my beloved brethren and sisters everywhere, both members of the church and non-members, I bear you my personal witness 
that I know the things I have presented to you today are true, both those pertaining to past events and those pertaining to events, to events yet to come. The issue we face is clear and well defined. The choice is ours. The question is, shall we of this dispensation repent and obey the laws of God, the God of this land, who is Jesus Christ, or shall we continue to defy them until we ripen in iniquity, that we will repent and obey, and thereby qualify to receive the blessings promised to the righteous in this land, I humbly pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Amen.